Tamara here. So I was just about to jump in the shower, so I thought now would be the perfect time to test out a new invention we got in called Clingless. This was invented by Charles Mason because he was trying to get rid of that super disgusting shower curtain cling thing. You know how you turn on the water and then you get in and it's like sucking in from the draft and it's touching your leg ugh, while you're trying to shower. Ew. Okay, we're back on the testing ground floor, which is my bathroom to test out Clingless. Now, Clingless is a simple tool that helps you keep that shower curtain pulled out and also keeps the water in the tub instead of on your bathroom floor. Now, according to the box, it gives you more space. It stops the cling, which I'm extremely excited to try out. Doesn't need any tools. Um, and according to this, it gives you 25% more space in your showers. I'm kind of excited about that. Here's how it works. It comes with a set of three. Basically, it's a magnetic top. So this goes on the inside, this goes on the outside of the shower curtain, and it's weighted down here. So you put these evenly across your shower. Now I wanna test out a few things. I wanna know, first of all, is it easy to put on? And does it stay as I kind of go in and out of the shower? And I wanna test out this 25% more, because that feels like a lot of space in my shower. So we're gonna go ahead and test those things out, which means that I am gonna go, go jump into the shower. All right, I just took my shower, and in fact, I took part of it without Clingless, kind of how it normally is, and part of it with it. And I found some interesting things in my test that I wanna share with you. So first of all, if you look at my shower cur curtain, just in its natural state, look how much space it takes up inside my bathtub. There's so much space between the ledge and the curtain itself already. It's crazy, right? Like, you can see that. And when I'm showering, it kind of moves in like this. It does that weird wave thing and touches my leg and my back. Ugh, so gross. Now, we wanted to test out that 25% thing, so I've grabbed a measuring tape, and we're gonna test it from this inside fold because this is kind of where it is when I shower. So, from the wall to there is about 20 inches. It is no wonder I am feeling a little bit claustrophobic when I take a shower, because I am not getting a lot of space in here. All right, let's put on clingless, and I'll show you what that looks like. No, these are magnetic. So what you're gonna do, put one here, one on the end. Kind of, it's sometimes helpful to just kind of adjust them a little bit. One in the middle. Try putting that like here, and then it's kind of scrolling down a little bit. Then we'll do this third one over here, kind of closer to the edge. All right, then I find it helpful to just kind of put it into space. There we go. All right, let me turn on the shower. All right, a couple things I wanna point out here that I found were kinda interesting. So, first of all, as you can tell, they're, easily, they're evenly spaced, but look how much more space I have in my actual shower. Not only is it pulling it out, but what I found when I took a shower, which felt really luxurious compared to what I'm used to, is it actually bows out the whole shower curtain. So you can actually see here, it's almost over the tub itself. So you not only get more space in your leg area, which is what I was expecting, but you also get it up in your kind of torso and head area too. So let's do the ultimate test though, which is the actual measurement. So I'm I'm gonna measure it over here, and we're gonna look at the space. Okay, here it goes. All right, this time, that measurement is 28. So I'm no mathematician, but I am pretty sure that's more than 25% more space. And that is clingless on the testing ground floor. If you want to be a part of what we do here, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Shook TV, and join us at theshook.com.